What's up, everybody? As you see, the Tekkit server. As you see, the Tekkit server is live. As you see, the Tekkit server is live. As you see, the Tekkit server is live. As you see, the Tekkit server. Clearly, I need to mute that. Let's see here. There we go. Much better. All right, so here we are, live on the new Tekkit server. I'm getting started on the first nights. Uh, before anyone even asks, no, <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. I'll have the server up in a couple of days, and everyone who's going to be whitelisted already knows they're going to be whitelisted. And we will go from there. As uh, people stop playing on the server, of course, I will open it up to other people. But I plan on doing a ridiculous playthrough here. It's getting dark quick. I need to adjust this audio a little bit too, I believe. Let's go right around there. And I gotta come up with some shelter for the evening pretty quickly. As it is already dark out. Grab another tree or two though. In hopes that nothing comes and uh, seeks me out here. Yes, I'm watching TV in the process, so you'll have to excuse me if I'm not super chatty. I was excited to see this uh, uh, rubber texture that was partially fixed for Sfax. I actually snagged it out of one of the uh, one of the Feed the Beast texture pack updates. Gosh, I really wish it would get light out. Things could get very sketchy here at any moment. But anyway, glad to have a server back up and running. There's a spider over there, so I don't really want to go too far that way. In fact, I should probably... See, I got some... Probably get myself uh, started with some of the basics here at least. Let's see. Definitely going to need an axe because uh, tree capitator is the shit. And what else am I going to need? Pickaxe certainly wouldn't hurt. And that should do me for now. <clears throat> this will be a bit of a boring stream, as uh, the first nights always are. However... Oh wow, it's a lot slower. Once you get the tree capitator going, it's actually slower than punching the tree, but of course it will wreck the whole thing for me. There we go. Uh-oh. I hear you. I don't see you, but I hear you. Dang. So slow. This is not an issue on single player with this mod. It doesn't take this long. I don't know why it's uh, this way on the servers, but it is. Nothing about to sneak up on me, so I'll just keep bashing trees here for another minute before I try to dig down and start getting some cobble. Of course, the sooner I can get some stone and iron and such, the better. This, uh, it's a pretty decent location to start. It uh, There's a forest biome, an ocean biome, 
and uh, a desert biome that are really close to here. So I figured I'd go ahead and start here. It's a little bit uh, of different terrain than what I usually build on, but I was kind of liking where I was going with the start to the feed the beast. So I picked this as my little starting area. Should be interesting enough. I tell you what, let me make a make a shovel as well. There we go. Oh, it's actually starting to get light out now. Awesome. Made it through the night unaccosted. How lucky is that? So I'm going to gather up a little bit more wood here and start figuring out kind of where I want to build my my house, my first first little building. Once I figure that out, I will start uh, start digging down from there. Unsure as to where. Maybe I want to go up on this this hillside here. I'm not really sure. Uh oh, zombie! Actually, this little hillside might be decent. Yeah, I should start clearing off the top of this and flattening it out a little bit. I'll do that. Holy crap! Oh no! God forbid you click off onto something else. It took me uh, a couple of hours to get this dialed in. There's not uh, a lot of the typical server plugins. It's becoming a little bit harder to find the uh, proper versions of them for these older versions of Minecraft. This one of course is 1.5.2 it's uh, the server build 1.1.8 through the Technic. Uh, the Technic server, which is the newest newest version from Technic. And I'm excited to get uh, get this thing opened up and get some some of the folks I've been playing with lately. Get them uh, get back in the mix here. That way uh, can start. Uh, doing some good things. Now this, as I mentioned before, this is uh, going to be 100% legit server. Um, don't Anyone that does pop onto it, nobody's going to be getting creative mode, so don't even bother asking me. This spider's going to come at me. Of course he is. Let me break the damn. All right, Whew. let's see. Let me break the damn tree first. Wonder if I should try to. Yeah, let me just go ahead and smoke this guy. Oh no! Wow! I didn't get accosted at all, all night long. And then now that the sun is out, I got baddies coming. Alright, so I'm going to have to get another another axe. Once I get this, uh, some of the trees cleared off on this one, of course I'll be able to dig down and get some, uh, some cobble. So yeah, anyway, this is uh, this server is going to be 100% legit, and I think that will answer a lot of the questions we had last time, um, with things being built up too quick and completely overloaded. We're only going to have about 10 people on this server. Um, all those 10 people have been chosen, but like I said, some of them aren't going to play. I just, you know, I don't know yet because I haven't talked to any of them, and some of them may not play long. So I will open up new slots. I'm going to keep about 10 active players on the server at a time and of course we're starting off with the people that uh, have played with me the longest or were uh, moderators on the other server
But it's been a lot of fun so far. The uh, vanilla server, of course, was not getting any more action. Let's see, this is, uh, this is a pretty nice spot right here. And I'm going to level, once I get these trees cleared out, I'm going to take a couple of those levels of dirt off the top. And that, of course, will uh, give me a little bit more room for a larger building. God, this is grilling. God, why I just it amazes me that it's taking so long. I understand the uh Ooh, creeper. Uh oh. Shoot. That is good enough for right at the moment. I'm going to have to clear these trees out right at the top, but I want to start flattening this out just a bit. And then I'll uh, dig down in it and start uh, my initial mining operation here. But I haven't streamed in a little while. And I was definitely going to record uh, something for the, the server coming up. So I figured, what the heck, I might as well just have at it. Shovel's fading fast. A lot of dirt. Alright. So, let's get, uh... I guess I need another shovel now. Hmm. Better just go ahead and grab a couple of those guys. I'll make a stone pickaxe as soon as uh as soon as I start digging. But yeah, I think this is a good uh, good little starting starting area. Like I said, there's several different biomes nearby. There's uh, plenty of trees. As you see, I've already got some rubber trees and saplings. And I'm thinking this little platform right here is going to be home. Thank God for apples. Yeah, I can clear uh, clear this off a little bit more later. Have a little snack there. But this looks like a good spot to start uh, start digging. Maybe maybe just right here, huh? There we go. Cobble already. So excited to see where this one goes. Now, uh, you know, I was excited about 1.5.2 before, before we start started having all the server crash issues. Because um, I liked I liked the, the thought of the space station and some sort of a moon base. In fact, that's probably one of the main reasons I actually started playing playing Minecraft. Alright, so what have we here? Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, so we got a big hole. Got a uh, bit of a cavernous area underneath here. Maybe I'll just create uh, a little something something just to have some sort of little uh, little hovel for the first first night. Just put the floor in myself here and then I'll go down into that cavern and start going down from there to mine. Once I get a few more of my basics in place. <coughs> yeah, this will work out. Let's see. Go this way just a little bit more. There we go. Gonna be a little dark down here in a minute. See, is my crafting bench still up here? Yeah, it is. Hmm. My axles again? Need to get there. I should have just made a stone axe right then. This is uh, sausage pancake. This is a multiplayer server. It's just uh, this. I just got it up, and I don't have all the plugins and everything in, so I don't have it opened up to anyone else yet. And what else do I need? Gonna need me a furnace. I think I'm just gonna dirt myself in down here, maybe. I better get something cooking up here quick, though. Let's see, I got a ton of raw wood here. You have to, uh, you have to, to install Sfax, getting Sfax installed, of course, is no problem. It's just all the bugs with all of the, uh, all of the textures that are not completed properly. So you have to um, get the patch for it. Uh, right on the Sfax forums, there's a uh, a patch that you can get, and you have to add it to the to the Sfax zip, and then that allows you uh, a few more textures. And in fact, I was I was pleased to see they've actually fixed quite a few of them. Um, in the past, even like the rubber tree uh, texture and stuff was was screwed. But now that's there's a for the 64x version anyway. There's a well to install the patch. You just open the two zip files. You have uh, you'll you'll have the zip file for the regular Sfax texture pack. And then there will be another zip file uh, for the patch. You just you open the zip file for the patch and add it to uh, uh, to the to the regular Sfax texture.
there's a bunch of YouTube videos up on how to do it. It's pretty pretty easy process. This is really going to be a relatively short stream tonight. I just wanted to um, to get it out there that the server is up. So is it starting to get light out already? Nah, not quite yet. Guess I could smoke a couple more of these trees and if anything comes, run down there and dirt myself in. As soon as this bad boy breaks, I gotta make a stone one. I gotta get it a little quicker than this. Well, Sfax is BD Craft. Sfax is the guy who uh, who made it. But yeah, it's pure BD Craft is the texture pack. Everyone just calls it Sfax because that's who uh, that's who did it, who made it. So yeah, you get the regular Sfax, the normal BD Craft, pure BD Craft texture pack. Then you add um, the Tekkit patch to it. Oh my god, it's brutal. I have to get some rubber trees planted pretty actually there's a ton of rubber trees right around here. I probably don't need to even worry about a rubber tree farm quite yet. But rubber of course will be crucial to uh starting to make some machinery. Long ways from there, but do want to get to that eventually here. The sooner the better, really. I'm not gonna stream for that long tonight, but I'm hoping to at least have maybe a steam one or two steam engines going tonight where I can start charging something up they put some new batteries in in the newest uh, version of Tekkit too so although the redstone energy cells are what we'll want to use long term there's some easy batteries now to uh, to get started storing some energy and getting some some basic basic machines going a little powered furnace and pulverizer and such and it looks like with the cavernous area underneath me I'm gonna be able to do a little bit of uh, exploring to collect some of my ore and it won't be as boring as just sitting there grinding mining there's uh, the, the this particular one I'm using is the 64 um, I prefer the 128 as well, but the patch for it is not as as complete as the uh, 64. There is a 64 and a 128 patch. Um, you have to look in the forums. If you just if you just type in, you know, Tekkit patch for Goot for Sfax or whatever in Google, it will it'll be on the front page. But it's a it's a forum post on. Um, the BD Craft forums. See, I don't have a whole lot of dirt left, do I? I thought I had more dirt. Or yeah, I got a little bit more. Okay. Go ahead and fill this out and start uh, making a little foundation for the house here. Uh -oh. I hear you, but I don't see you. That pad is probably big enough. I'll go one more just because I can here but yeah this uh, 
this little starting point has got uh, really everything I was I'd hoped for. There's uh, you know the forest biome right nearby. There's uh, the ocean or the jungle biome. I mean, there's a jungle biome right over there. And then the ocean and the desert, so I'll be able to access a lot of stuff. What's going on there, Bacon Maker? Like I said, a little boring uh, for the, those of you guys just joining. A little bit of a boring stream tonight, but I just wanted to uh, let everybody know that I got a server back up and running. And uh, it'll be 100% here, hopefully by the end of the night. I still have... Uh, I found some difficulty in finding some of the basic plugins, and uh, <clears throat> essentials. I was surprised by that. The regular craft bucket website essentials is no longer. Hmm. What do I want to start? I'll start off with some birch. You can no longer get older versions of essentials. I was, like I said, very surprised to see that, but. No, nah, it's not. It's not open for anybody yet. It's it's going to be a semi-private server. Um, I'm only going to allow about ten people at a time on it because I had a, a bit of a nightmare with a Tekkit server that was open to more people just recently. So this one is uh, going to be a little smaller server. Going to be doing a lot of stuff on my YouTube channel for it. Let's see. That's probably. That's probably good enough. Let me go one more there. And there we go. This will be the first house right here. I'll get some uh, basic machines and stuff set up. Set up here. What you gonna do, zombie? You ain't gonna do nothing. You're gonna get shoveled. Take that. Let me give him the pickaxe instead. Damn flaming zombies. Yeah, I do a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't stream as often as I would like. But I do do a lot of stuff over on my YouTube channel, so check that out there as well. Let's see, I want to get down, I guess, and start start digging, but I'm going to need some more torches before I, before I go that route. Let's see, let's just throw that right there for a little stairway for now. There we go. Now, I should have plenty. That'll get me started collecting some ore at least. Half a stack. But yeah, I got uh, high hopes for this, uh, this server. I plan on... Uh, really getting into what every every mod pack has to offer. I'll definitely uh, definitely explore. You know, I've done quite a bit of TechIt stuff before, but I will uh, definitely explore a lot of the things that I have not you know have not done. Let's see. Let's get rid of these wood tools. In fact, I'll go ahead and get rid of this wood shovel too, even though there's still a bunch of durability left on it. Huh. Pulled that one out a little too soon. Alright, so...
What do I need here? See, I need a pickaxe and a shovel. And a regular X. And you know what? <clears throat> Pardon me. A uh, sword probably isn't going to hurt either. So let me go ahead and head on down. See, I. I think I might want to just go ahead and make some more torches just in case. Who knows how long I'm going to be down there. Fifty-two will get me going for a little while. But I saw some ore that seemed uh, pretty readily available here. Copper. I thought I saw something else down in here too. I'm sure there is some goodies up in this little trench here. There's some more right there. Hopefully can run into some iron here. Would be ideal. And there's some coal. Of course, once I get uh, just a basic mine going and then I get a quarry operation running, I'll, I'll have no, uh, no shortage of building materials, that's for certain. And I got enough coal for a ton of torches now, so. Yeah, there's quite a bit here. This may just, uh... kind of end up lapping through to the other side the other side of this hill I'm not certain should block this in a little bit though because it's definitely going down I don't want to get down in here too far and get get kind of pinned down Where is the iron? I'm getting all this coal and copper. I wish they would incorporate that, uh, I don't know which mod it is, but it's the one that um, Hexit uses that makes uh, some of the ore, diamonds, iron, everything available. You, all throughout, even at the surface. So you go through a cavern like this, you can end up finding diamonds. Can't remember which mod pack that is, but that's one thing that's pretty awesome about Hexit is it's just so easy to to get started. Not too much of a of a first night grind, or it's not too bad anyway. Dang it, I was hoping to find some iron by now, but it's all good. Lots of copper. Maybe this is where I'll start going down. I'm a ways away from the house. But, that doesn't really matter, as, uh... Since we're going to have a limited amount of people on the server, people can spread out quite a bit more. It should be no big deal having uh, a few additional chunks loaded. Uh-oh. 
There was a creeper too. Crap. Oh crap. Huh. Okay, what do we have? That was the dead end. And then here is the way up. So maybe I should... Eventually, for sure, I'm going to want to gate this off a little bit here. Some more copper just right there. Alright. So, no luck with the iron. I was hoping some iron would be down in there. However, I can go ahead and get this copper smelting since I don't have uh, any chance of getting a pulverizer up yet. I'm just going to have to... Huh, it's a little weird texture there. Texture change. But yeah, I'm going to get some copper ingots. And then I want to figure out my tree situation up here. And then I also need to think about food. As, uh, you know, as soon as I get the trees cleared off, these apples are only going to last so long. Well, what the hell? Busting up wood with my pickaxe. That's a uh, smart use of resources there. <laughs> oh wow, it's like practically no better with the stone axe. I was hoping it would be a little bit quicker. I was actually hoping I would find some iron down in that hole, but since I did not... And it's starting to get dark again already. Dang it. I spent too much time down below. Save that for the night time. Let's see, what do I got? I got 64 oak. Maybe I'll put some uh, little oak trim on this bad boy. Oops. That should get me for now. I'll go three high. A sheep, how convenient. I should have, uh... <clears throat> In fact, as soon as the next day comes up, I need to, uh... Uh-oh. Need to deal with the sheep. Get a bed. Oh, you're trapped, spider. There ain't nothing you can do. Give up. Thanks for uh, coming on in, Mr. Sheepy. You will be sheared promptly. Of course, um, as soon as I get the materials for it, priority one for me is going to be uh, a power suit. I want to fly around. Here we go. Which side do I want the door to be on? See, there's water and jungle. Maybe I'll have the door right here. See, we could go uh, right here would be dead center. For some double doors. This uh, building, of course, probably won't stand for entirely too long. Let 
think I might go up one more on this. Want to make sure I have a nice tall ceiling. You know, if this ends up being a building that my ME network or whatever is housed in, I'm going to need... Uh, need that larger area let's see well I don't want to do that sort of trim going over do I hmm need to get some of that uh, some of that wheat planted too You know what? I think I, I just I, I've always liked. I don't really know why, but I've always liked the lighter colored woods. I wish uh, Tekkit had some of the cool stuff you could do um, with with the different woods, like Feed the Beast does. But it does not, and I love everything about Tekkit. Uh, a little bit more I think even though Feed the Beast has a lot more stuff you can do down on the ground anyway what do we got we got baddies I heard something uh oh where are you at? Damn spiders. Maybe I'll just kill this damn sheep. There's a bunch of sheep around here, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get any wool. Go hunt them down when the sun comes up. Yeah, anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and just leave it off here. This uh, is the start. Of course, that's uh, the first few nights. Uh, a little boring, I, I realize. I usually uh, try to be doing something a little bit a little bit more intensive for my live streams, but I just wanted to uh, let everybody know that I am working on this Tekkit server and getting it, uh, getting it squared away so that we can get some other players on it. But uh, right now, at the moment, this is how, how it stands. But uh, thank you to everyone that came and checked out the stream. And I will uh, upload this and get it over on YouTube here sometime tonight. But uh, check out my YouTube channel as well. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.